everybody. Hope you're doing well. I'm coming at you with a quick science experiment today. Now I'm going to do it here in the lab at school, but you can do it at home. Let me show you. It's on page 72 in your textbook at the top, and you could totally set this lab up at home. Um, I've got my tank, but see they're using just a clear container with red and blue colored water, different temperatures, and a cardboard in between. So you check out page 72. You don't have to set it up, but I would highly encourage you to so you can see this firsthand. And if you do, send me a video or send me a picture and I'll post it on Classroom. That would be awesome. All right, so I have in my tank warm and cold water and I'm gonna dye one red, the warm one red, and the cold one blue. So let's see, this side is the warm water. So we're gonna dye this side Oh, my hands are turning pink already. Uh, red, it's actually gonna be more like a pink. So let's put it in, and if you remember, this is diffusion as well. We'll mix that up in a second. You can watch it diffuse for a minute. Holy smokes, my hands are dirty. And then this side, we're gonna go ahead and do blue. So this is diffusion as well. Check that out. Kinda looks cool, right? You can see that the hotter one is diffusing faster, but I'm gonna make it go even faster and mix it up myself. Let's mix the blue side. All right, so we're talking air masses right now. And an air mass is a big body of air. And I mean like big, like it could be as big as the United States. It's massively huge. Um, and it has the same properties throughout, like humidity and temperature and such. So this is gonna represent a warm air mass and a cold air mass. Now I know we've done this in class before, but it's a great review. I'm gonna pull my middle thing out and let the two bodies mix. And it's gonna be like a warm air mass is colliding with a cold, and we should see what happens when the two um, hit one another. So think about it for a minute, what's gonna happen, and then I'm gonna pull this divider out and we'll see what happens. You can see I got a little bit of leakage already of the blue over on the other side not much just a little bit all right so you can do this at home too by setting something similar to this up and if you do please send me a video or a picture and I will definitely post it for everyone to see but here we go we're gonna remove the middle piece and let these go together and we can see that the blue is starting to settle on the bottom and the red is coming up to the top and there's gonna be a little bit of mixing between the two air masses too, uh, which are represented by water right now, I know, but there's gonna be mixing, we're gonna see some purple between them, but it's a good reminder that a cold, anything that's cold sinks because it's of greater density, including an air mass, and anything that's warm rises because it is less dense, including a warm air mass. Okay, so that's your demo for today. Try this at home. I'd love to see it. Um, and I hope to see you all soon. Miss you all. Bye.